I am excited to be recording today. As you guys see in front of me, actually, well, in front of me and once behind my face cam, we got two awesome Paradox Pokemon for today's video. We got ourselves an Iron Valley and Iron Moth Series 3 team that also features Shen Pao, Tinglu, Fluttermane, and Choice Fan Dragapult. Super excited to be using this team. Hopefully, we get the rock out with it and grab some wins for you guys. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. I've really been enjoying just playing Pokemon Scarlet and Violet as recently and recording for you guys. So again, hopefully you guys have been enjoying the videos. Plus, we also have uh, Legends of Zelda Tears of a Kingdom coming out this week actually on friday i'm stoked for that game we're gonna be doing a playthrough on the channel with that and i'm gonna be bringing you guides and like uh youtube shorts all that good stuff on that game so hope you guys are excited for that we're gonna be uploading that simultaneously with normal pokemon scarlet and violet content so it's just gonna be some extra content for you guys but let's get started here with today's team preview we got the one and only shen pal rocking swords of ruin the focus sash as his item has ice spinner sucker punch sacred sword and protect cannot go wrong with the shen pal build it's pretty much perfect we got Ting Lu in our second spot, and not just any Ting Lu, we got that Fisher Ting Lu. It's got Vessels of Ruin, Assault Vest as item, Fisher, like we already mentioned, for a chance of a one hit KO, Heavy Slam, Stomping Cantrum, and Payback. We got Iron Valiant in our third slot, which I'm loving this Pokemon. I don't think I used it in Series 3 yet, so this might be a first, or I might have used it already. Not too sure, but every time I use this Pokemon, I absolutely love it. It's got Quirk Drive, the Roselli Berry, and then Spirit Break, Close Combat, Leaf Blade, and Protect. Fluttermane is in our fourth slot. Fluttermane, again, over and over again, this Pokemon is just made for Series 3. It is arguably the best Pokemon in Series 3. This one has Protosynthesis, the Life Orb, Moonblast, Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, and Protect. You guys seen that plenty of times before. Bottom left hand corner, our fifth Pokemon is going to be my boy Dragapult, the Gen 8 Pseudo Legendary with Clear Body and the Choice Band as its item. It's got Terra Blast, which will turn into Steel if we Terrestrialize. Then we got U Turn to Pivot, Phantom Force, and Dragon Arch for two stab moves. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be the Iron Moth. And I haven't used Iron Moth in a good bit, but this Iron Moth is sitting here to be very, very strong with Fluttermane because you can Acid Spray a Pokemon, lower their special defense, and then Fluttermane can just like go next turn and pretty much just dump on any Pokemon that's going to be minus two on special defense. Iron Moth also has Discharge, it has Heat Wave, Cork Drive, and the Booster Energy as its item. Guys, if you want to run this team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to grab some wins with this Iron Moth and Iron Valiant Series 3 team. Hopping into our first battle, and before I pick my team, I want to ask you guys a question. Guys, let me know in the comment section down below, do you guys think I should change my font for my thumbnails? I know I've been getting a few comments saying that the font is kind of unreadable and it's kind of a mess at sometimes. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, because I have no problem changing it. But if most of you guys can read it and most of you guys like it, I'm going to keep it. But if not, I'm going to change it up for you guys. So again, let me know in the comment section down below. But we're hopping into our first match, going up against a Ting Lu and Fluttermane team with Mimikyu, King Gambit, Water Tauros, and last but not least, Amoongus. How should I play this one? How should I get after it? I do like my boy Jack Frost right here. I do like the Shen Pao here. He does look like a human rip. I also do like the pole. I am kind of worried about their Fluttermane. So we could try to play off of that. I mean, Valiant's okay. Ting Lu could be pretty strong. A lot of Pokemon are going to be weak to the Fairy type. Right? A lot of Pokemon are going to be weak to the Fairy type. I kind of like Dragapult. Maybe for Elite here, because I can always Terrasalize and just get after it. So, you know what? I'm going to go you. And I am also going to lead a Pokemon like Ting Lu. I think Ting Lu could be very good for us. I'm going to go Ting Lu. I'm going to bring my Shen Pao in the back end. And then last but not least, I think Valiant could be pretty solid for us, right? I like this Pokemon a lot. So I'm going to go Iron Valiant over Iron Moth. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But I'm getting pretty high in that rank master tier. I'm like top 2,000 right now, but we're playing a 760 player right now. So this one could be tough for us. It definitely could be tough for us. 760 is pretty high. 760 is pretty high, so we'll see. Like I said, I know I don't really push off screen, so I could definitely be higher than I am, but I, I don't like to push off screen. But we go Pult, we go Ting Lu of ourselves, and from here, do I steal Terra? Potentially, right? Probably, right? I could, I could. I kind of like to steal Terra, or I can just uh, Phantom Force out and go after the Mims. I'm kind of with that. I'm kind of with that, and then I can just go into, do I go for a Fisher into their Ting Lu? I kind of want to, right? <laughs> that could be awesome. That could be awesome. Or I can just Heavy Slam into the Mimikyu, which I'm leaning towards. 
and then I'll fish into Tingling next turn. Yeah, I'm, I'm all about that. So I'm going to Phantom Force. I'm going to dip out here. I think there is a chance that Mimikyu wants to pop a Trick Room, but we're going to hope. Okay, that works. He goes for will o -Wisp. and we dodge it. So that's big time for us. So from here, he goes for a Ruination on me. Okay, that's going to half my HP. That's all right. Heavy Slam will come out here. Phantom Force will KO the Mimikyu next turn. And now we're going for Fishers. And Fisher's only onto that Tingling because if we can land that, that is wild. That would be wild and really, really good for us. So I'm going for it. <laughs> if I could just get rid of the Tingling with a Fisher, oh baby, oh baby, that could be awesome. That could be play of the game. I can really just like bring the match like a easy victory for us, but we'll see. We shall see because the chances are I, I miss this Fisher, right? 30% accurate. Fingers crossed here, makes it 50% accurate, so <laughs> we're, we're looking for it, we're looking for it. But I wonder what they're going to do, because we do have a Phantom Force flying towards the Mimikyu slot, and he's going to end up withdrawing that Pokemon, so who are you going to go into from there? Who are you going to? It's going to be Tauros, so he wants Tauros to eat up this Phantom Force. Okay, I mean, that's fine, I guess. I, I guess he's saving the Mimikyu, but luckily he doesn't have disguise anymore. So he's going to intimidate me. That's fine, we're laying this Fisher anyway. No problem whatsoever. Phantom Force comes out here, big time damage, we have health up. And he goes for a stopping tantrum into this slot, which you're going to be able to soak. Which is pretty good. So you end up soaking. Fisher lands. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. That was huge. That was huge. That was huge. All right. My RNG, I think I used it up for today's video. That was huge. So chances are we're not going to get any more uh, lucky RNG plays. But, yo, we'll take that all day. I'll take it all day long. That's why I love Fisher on Ting Lu. This is why I love them. But let's see who they end up going into. <clears throat> it's going to be Gambit. And uh, I think Gambit... I do think Gambit's going to go into, like, a Sucker Punch. So I might just uh, Terrasalize Dragon Ball. Or I could Hard Swap Dragon Ball. Go into a Sucker Punch. Eh. I think we just go Terrasalize you. Yeah, and we do go into Phantom Force. I try to get rid of you. And then from here, we just go for the Stop again, to Normal. So we'll see how they want to play this one, because I'm Terrasalize. I don't want Sucker Punch to just KO me and take me out. So I'm looking to survive the Sucker Punch here. I think we should, now that we Terrasalize in a straight steal, I think we should be fine with that. I do think we should be fine with eating up a Sucker Punch. Because again, if I get off another Phantom Force, I'm in love. And you're not even going for Sucker Punch. That's weird. That is weird, right? That's odd. That's odd that you didn't go for Sucker Punch. Wave Crash ends up coming out here. Can we soak this? We don't soak that. Okay. Are you going for a sword stance? Why do I feel like you're going for a sword stance? Kind of scared of that. Kind of scared of that, right? Tauros gets damaged by recoil. Does that KO him? It does not. And you do end up going for a sword stance, which is terrifying. No bueno. No good at all. No good at all. That's that's not good. That is not good. Are any guys faster than Dragapult? Neither of you guys should be. No, you're not. Okay, cool. Um... I think at this point we just go into you and we might protect you what about going to you oh my lord this is terrifying this is terrifying i don't know what to do i don't know what to do um, i could go into you and try to land a close combat that could be pretty good i think it's gonna be my play i think we're just gonna close combat into the gambit slot see what typing he wants to size into oh my lord this is scary the taurus is gonna die here um i am gonna go for the close combat Try to get rid of this thing. But this is just, this is scary. This Gambit might, might defeat us. And I think it will, right? Unless we're able to land this close combat and get rid of it. But chances are, I'd probably Terrastalize here, right? Because you haven't used your Terror yet. And I wonder what it is. It could be Dark, it could be Steel. It could just be something like Fairy. I've seen a few be Fairy, but I'm terrified of this thing. This thing's terrifying. I can always Sucker Punch it if it does Terrastalize into a, a off typing. But I am just terrified. I'm terrified of this thing. I don't like it. I do. I simply don't. I simply don't. So we're going to see what he wants to do. Tauros ends up protecting. Phantom Force hits through protect. So we're just going to get rid of him. That's big time. And you don't go for the Sucker Punch, which means you are dead. Right? You're dead to this close combat all day. That's kind of weird you don't go for the Sucker Punch. Because now you're just dead. You just threw the match. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Match has been thrown. Unless you're not rocking Sucker Punch. I was just expecting Sucker Punch to come out here. Okay, that King Gambit scared me, obviously, way more than it, than it than it should have. But, again, play of the game is that Fisher. All day, it's the Fisher. Fisher came out there, absolutely ripped it. Killed that Tinglu and really helped us out tremendously. 
I think we so, still definitely would have had a shot at win this match even without the without that Fisher landing, but we're totally chilling here. We're totally chilling. So I'm gonna go into a spirit break. I am gonna go into a Phantom Force, and I believe our opponent cancels battle. If not, they're gonna have to deal with my Sucker Punch Ten Pound to back in, which it's a problem. It's kind of a big deal. But they they just been letting my Choice Band Dragapult rip up these Phantom Forces. They really have been, which is awesome. So I end up going for a spirit break, doing some nice damage. Mimic you, probably going after Pold again, which would be hilarious. No, you go after you, and I don't see the point of that. You should just cancel battle. So he ends up burning my Valiant. That's fine. It's no problem. That's GG's. That is GG. So Phantom Force is going to go first. It's going to take out the Mims. 1-0 for today's video. 1-0. I love getting things started here. We're going to use Leaf Blade just for the heck of it. Because I don't really care if Phantom Force is going to come out here first. But yo, this thing's going to thrash slides. What's the point of will o wisping I know it's going to cut my attack power in half, but you need to KOs. You need to hit me hard. So he ends up going Leaf. Or not leaf. Grass. <laughs> leaf. I just really call it leaf type. That's kind of funny. But he ends up going grass type. Phantom Force KOs regardless. That's game set match. Dragapult ripping in here. Dragapult and Ting Lu's Fisher. MVP for match number one. Let's hop into a second. Look to guarantee yourselves a winning record. Second match on its way. We got a challenge on our hands. Annihilate Mousehold. Always a problem. Always a problem. And then you also have four more problems. Shen Pao. Dragapult. Iron Bundle and Fluttermane. This is arguably one of the most stacked teams for Series 3. Hopefully we grab ourselves a win here. I don't know how we're going to do. I really don't. But chances are they're going to lead Mousehold and Adelaide. I kind of want to play off of that. They can also lead the Shen Pao and the uh, Dragonite, which is a little bit of a problem. I mean, my Ghost types could be very, very good for us. They could be very good for us. Do I want to go into, like... Do I want to go Iron Moth here? I mean, Iron Moth wouldn't be bad. I could go Double Ghost here. Double Ghost seems to be a play. Seems to be a great play, right? I do like my ghost types. I do like my ghost types. Um, hmm. Ting Lu could definitely come in the back end for special attack purposes, but... Ah, what do I want to do? What does Jeans want to do here? I mean, I got booster energy on you. It's pretty good. I mean, I can heat wave Pokemon. I do like it. I do, I do like the Moth. I'm going to go Moth. I'm going to go Fluttermane. And I'm going to go Ting Lu alongside with Shen Pao. Go, I, I just like Shen Pao for attacking purposes. It's just a very strong Pokemon, and having that first turn priority is really good. So, I'm going to get after it this way. But this one seems to be a problem for me, right? It seems to be a tough one. It really does. I really don't know how I'm going to play up against this. I think we should get dumped on, to be honest with you guys. Now I'm going to sit here and not be honest. I got to be honest with my with my jeans crew. I got to. I have to be. But let's see who they end up leading. And it's going to be Mouse Hole and Nylip, So, I don't mind that too much. Um... I think we just acid spray and we get after this, right? I mean, fire terror could definitely come out here, which is terrifying, but we might just want to get rid of mouse hold first and foremost. Could be our play. We could just go acid spray and then into like a moon blast and terrestrialize slice into straight fairy, which wouldn't be bad. I say we do that. I say we just get rid of mouse hold because if follow me could come out here, could be follow me bulk up turn one. It's definitely a chance. It's definitely a chance. I'm going to Terrasilize right here, right now. I'm looking to just get rid of the Mouse Hold. So I can deal with the Annihilate another turn. So I can just Shadow Ball Annihilate. Because that's one of the reasons why I want to get rid of Mouse Hold. Just so it can't follow me. And I can hit this Annihilate with a Shadow Ball. Because chances are, it's Fire Terror. And here comes the Fire Terror. Ready? Here comes the Fire Terror. He probably thinks we're going for a Gleam. Which we are not. We are not. Maybe I should have went for a Gleam. But I'm not too sure if Acid Spray Gleam would have KO'd. But he ends up going into Water. Which I have Discharge. They do have Discharge, which I like. Let's see how this one plays out here. Mouse Hole Protect? You protect? What you mean? That's a really good protect. That's a really good protect. It's an elite protect right there. He gets off a free bulk up, right? You gotta be going for a bulk up. That's just free. That's just free. Now you go for a Rage Fist. Okay, so we're able to soak that Rage Fist. That's exactly why we tired it into Fairy. And now from here, you want to go for follow me, Ken. I'm going to acid spray you and then go into the moon blast. I'm going to double down to Annihilate. I swear, if Annihilate protects now, <laughs> this could be bad. This could be real bad. They just got a free Rage Fist to get the party started. So we'll see. Now comes the follow me. Um, hmm. I wonder what they're going to do here. The acid spray is going to lower the defense. We should be able to KO no problem with this fairy move. And I'm hoping we can eat up another... Another move, right? Another Rage Fist would be awesome. 
So Moonblast gets rid of you. We do indeed get rid of you. And then from here, what do we do? We'll see, because I would love to get off of this charge. Rage Fist does come in here. We should be able to eat this up. Awesome, cool, dope, sweet. So we ate that up. We get another turn off here. Unless he goes into, say, Dragonite, right? Dragonite or Shen Pao, which is probably the two Pokemon that he has in the back end, right? Let's be real here. Let's be real. Shen Pao, Dragonite's gotta be. No, it's gonna be Iron B. So Iron B comes out here. Um, It's tough for us now. Now, now it's tough for us. So I want to protect and discharge. I really do. But I think from here, we still go for discharge. We say, screw it. He's been going first, though, so I might just go for the Protect. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to Protect and go for the Discharge. I think he goes after my my Flutterman, right? You go for the Icy Wind. I'm cool with that. I think Iron Moth can still outspeed. I think Iron Moth can still outspeed. This Discharge could be big for us. It could do some nice damage. You do outspeed. Awesome. Can we get some Paras on these Pokemon, too? I know... Discharge has a high chance of paralyzing. So we end up Discharge, get off some mean damage. Give me the Paras. There's one. Give me two. Give me two. A little bit of RNG action here. Come on, give me two. Only one. But, oh, yo, RNG on. We hide on RNG. We hide on RNG. So, chances are... What do we go for here? Go for Discharge again. And I'm just going to Moonblast into this slot. Into the Annihilate slot. I wonder what he's going to do. He's probably Icy Wind again. He does. And Iron Moth, again, will outspeed still. So we're going to get rid of the bundle, no problem. And I leave still chilling here. I can sucker punch it up. It has no, like, stat boost. It's just Rage Fist boosted because we hit it a couple times. That's fine. You still outspeed. Beautiful because we paralyzed last turn. Now we get rid of Iron Bundle. We do even more damage to Annihilate. That's huge. And that Annihilate's paralyzed. Yo, Iron Moth's killing it. I love this. Oh my. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, opponent. I'm sorry, opponent. My RNG's just on today. I'm hot with it. I'm feeling good with it. I'm sorry. I, I apologize. I apologize. But from here, Ting is going to be our play. Ting Lu is going to be our play because I think they do have Fluttermane potentially in the back end. And plus, we can just freely discharge with Ting Lu on the field, which is huge. But we'll see who they want to throw out here. We're going to go with Ting Lu. They're going to go in with Dragon. Dragonair comes out here, East Speed could be a thing, but good thing we did go into my team over here. I think we did go into this thing. And the reason I say that is because I don't want to give that thing first turn priority, like killer damage. So I'm just gonna discharge again. And do a heavy slam, do I go for a payback? Hmm. Moves power, it's gonna be double damage. I'm gonna I'm gonna take off Bolt SEO if he has it. So Aqua Jets can come through here. We're able to eat that, which is big time. And we get off another Discharge, which is, which is huge. I should have known that we were taking on Multi-Skill there. Give me a Paralyze. We do not get a Paralyze. And we get off some nice damage there. This thing ends up going for a Drain Punch. Gonna get back some HP. It's a little scary. And I feel like from here, we just try to... Do we try to get rid of the Annihilate? How do we play this one? Or do we keep going after Dragonite? Oh, Drain Punch is scaring me. Drain Punch is definitely scaring me. Oh, we should have got rid of that thing. could protect. I could go for. I could go for fishers. But I think we just. Mm, I think it's a problem. That annihilates a little bit of a problem, right? I think it's a problem. I'm gonna deal some damage to annihilate, even though he's gonna get some HP back. He's a problem. He's definitely a problem. Now comes the Aqua Jet again. We're slowing things down. We're going to hope he's paralyzed this turn, too, which would be big time for us. Payback coming out here. Dealing a decent amount of damage. Paralyzed. Oh, my lord. Lucky us. Lucky us, huh? Lucky, lucky us. Lucky, lucky us. Uh, Got to gotta stick with the Discharge. I could hard swap in Shen Pao, but there's really no point in that. We're just going to let him die out. So we'll go for a Discharge. Um, I think we're just going to pay back on the Dragonite. Keep dealing damage that thing. So Aqua Jet does come out here. It does chaos KO us and this match could be really close. We should have just doubled down into Annihilate, but we still might have not been able to KO it. So pay payback comes out here. Bring a Dragonite low. Drain Punch comes out, it gets more HP, but we survive. We should be able to survive an Aqua Jet here too. 
Dude, Nightleap's terrifying. We don't like this. We don't like that Pokemon at all. We don't like him at all. Um, okay. I think from here we just protect Shen Pao and we get rid of Dragonite, right? Because he could go into an Aqua Jet and into a Drain Punch into my Shen Pao slot. We don't have Terra. We do not have Terra. We used it. So I think Protect is going to be my play. Just so I can keep my Focus Ash and then hope that this Payback will actually KO. Which it should, right? I think this Payback should be able to KO. I think he does go after my Shen Pao. So there's a Protect from us. This match is coming down to it. It's coming down to it. And now he's just so strong. The E speeds into you. We're able to eat. That's big time eat. Payback comes out. Can this KO? It does. Okay, that's big. Can you go after my Shen Pao? Or just be paralyzed again? You do go after Shen Pao. So that's big, big. That's big, big. Because now we keep our Focus Ash. We keep our Focus Ash. And now the real question is, do I... Go for Fishers? <laughs> do I go for Fishers? Do I go for Fishers? Or do we just keep it classy and go stop against him? I say we keep it classy. We should be able to still do a decent amount of damage. Because Sucker Punch can come out here, do some nice damage. Stop potential we're gonna fly. Can this KO? It does. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Dope. I thought that Annihilate was gonna pull the comeback on us. Because everybody knows that Pokemon's OP. But we paralyzed it. We were able to keep everything under control. And there it is. 2 and 0. Let's go hop to our third and final. Look for a perfect record. Come on, man. That's too easy. That is just too easy. Gotta love it. 2-0 to get this video started. We're hopping into our third, and Jeans is looking to stay hot. I'm looking to stay hot, and my nose is itching. It's got a little itch going to it, but let me itch it real quick. Get a get a nice rub on that. There we go. Rubbing nose. We're ready to go for match number three. Going up against a Baxcalibur team. Love me some Baxcalibur. They also have Iron Hands Gyarados for Intimidate. Gotta watch out for, for him. Dragapult could be good here. And they also have Chi Yu and Amoongus. And Fluttermane, if I didn't mention. But I'm liking the Fluttermane Iron Moth combo. That was definitely MVP uh, last match, which was huge. So I'm gonna go into that. I'm gonna go Fluttermane. I'm gonna go Iron Moth. I am going to bring Dragapult. I like Dragapult. Just for a choice ban, and then I'm gonna bring my nice, lovely Shin Pao. Cannot go wrong with the Snow Leopard, right? The Snow Leopard with daggers for teeth. If you're like looking at a bunch of Pokemon and you know nothing about Pokemon, you're gonna pick Shin Pao because he just looks awesome. He just looks awesome. He really does. I love it. I love it. But yo, two and oh, oh my god, dude, I've been playing great. RNG's been on my side. We landed Fishers in match number one, and we had some good paralyzes in match number two. But we're sitting here. A fake out might be coming after us. I think what's called is going to terrestrialize as well. I might terrestrialize here too. I might terrestrialize my my iron wall. I think it's gonna be my play. And you know what? I might just gleam. Do I gleam? Or do I moon blast? I think you go into a terror type, but you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna moon blast. So I'm gonna moon blast and I'm gonna terrestrialize you and go for the discharge. I don't care if I hit my flutter main. That's fine by me. But right now I think he does fake out my uh my Iron Moth. I wish I had Ghost Terrier. Do wish I had Ghost Terror. It would be awesome. But I end up going into Grass. Lovely little Grass. Just in case the Waterfall wants to poke through here. We can get some work done. But I'm hoping Gyarados just stays normal typing. And we can just dump on it with this Discharge. Someone's Terrasalizing. And it's definitely the Iron Hands. I was going to Shadow Ball in that slot. I knew it was going to Terrasalize in the Grass. No, it's Gary. Gary the Gyarados with the Terra. Oh, that's a sc that's scary. That's, that's scary Gary right there. That scary Gary with, with the iron type steel. Big out does poke into me. I do get off this lovely little moon blast, which is good. But scary Gary's gonna do me dirty. Scary Gary's KO on my flutter main all day. We don't stand no chance. Go for a thunder wave. Hold up, we do stand a chance. Because now I can heat wave into that. We do stand a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. We're gonna moon blast again. We're gonna go for the heat wave. I probably should have gleaned, but it, it don't matter. It don't matter. So, Fluttermane is now paralyzed. Iron Moth's going to go first. And Fluttermane should still outspeed the Iron Hands, which is going to be really good for us. Probably not the Gyarados. Gyarados might just take me out, but I'm really surprised he didn't just go for a straight Terror Bite. So, if you do have it, right? The Steel Terror coming out from there. That's odd, right? That's really odd. Iron Hands might even swap just to get Fake Out back. But that terror is odd onto the Gyarados. There's really no need onto the Gyarados. Unless you knew I was rocking Discharge, right? Unless you've seen this team before. Because I would have used it on my Iron Hands 100%, right? Stop this Fluttermane from dropping Fairy moves into me. 
feel like that's where that's that's Iron Hands is like death. But Heat Wave comes out here, big time damage on the Gyarados. We don't get a burn. He's gonna still waterfall into the grass slot. That's weird. That's weird. I'm confused. I'm paralyzed though, which kind of hurts the soul because now he gets off a drain punch, which is kind of lame because you should be dead. But again, I used up my RNG in match number one and in match number two. So I can't really be complaining here, right? I can't be the one to be complaining. So, <laughs> so let's see. Let's see who should we go into. All right. So Gyarados here, Iron Hands out on the field. Holds the man. I kind of want choice to do some D darts here, right? Save the Shen Pao or oh, or I could do that. I could swap the Flutter Me into Shen Pao. Get the attack boost and see if we can pick up some KOs. Cause that could be really good. That's what I'm thinking of doing. And then just D darts and across the board. I know it's gonna be not very effective on through Gary, but I'm down for it. I'm all about it. Hopefully, like somebody just protects him, get the double down. So I'm gonna swap the Flutter Mate into the Shen Palski. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Swords of Ruin out here. And he's gonna withdraw the Iron Hands. Okay. I feel you. What are you going for here? Flutter Mate's gonna come out here probably. Flutter? It is Flutter Flutter. But I think both of them will go after Gyarados now, which could be really good for us. That could really benefit us. But now I'm choicing to this Dragon Arts. Yeah, and they should both go after Gyarados. And yet, you swapping into Flutter Man just did your Gyarados dirty. Did him real dirty. I'll take that all day. Okay, so now I'm choice into this lovely little... Choice into this lovely little Dragon Arts. Um, Flutter Man, terrifying here. He goes back in Iron Hands. I might have to swap my Shen Pao. Or I can just protect my Shen Pao. I think I'm just going to protect Shen Pao. Probably my play. And let's go for another D-Darts. Some choice into it so i will count this dragon pole as a win if dragon pole can land his d darts take out the iron hands and then it dies out the flutter main i think we should be fine at that point we'll see no terrors left we're not allowed to use terror not one left they use it on the gyarados i use it on my iron wall and we're gonna see how our opponent's gonna play this one he might read my protect it's a pretty simple read here it's a pretty simple read i have a ghost type out on the field we're kind of forcing to pick up into that slot but we're gonna hope that he that he bites for it I feel like he has to use it, right? Because if not, I get off a sucker punch. Or I could potentially, but I protect it. Let's see what he ends up doing. He does go for the fake out. I would have done the same thing. So he goes for the fake out. Dragon darts is going to slide over, and Fluttermane actually outspeeds me, doesn't it? Does not. Cool. So we're going to get rid of Iron Hands. That's a, that's, that's a, that's a victory. That's a victory for Dragon Bolt. And Dragon Bolt's going to die out here to probably his dad's gleam, right? Are you gleaming? You must be gleaming. You are going to gleam. Paul, if you somehow eat this up, I'll pay you $6 million. You just lost out on $6 million. I knew it was that. <laughs> that no problem. That's why I was, I was willing to wage to $6 million on my pole. But now we have Shen Pao with Focus Hash, which is big time for us. That's big time for us. That's exactly why I protected it. And now we go into our Flutter Man. So now we got a game. It's a 2v2 situation. They kind of have a little bit of an upper hand on me. They are going to go in the back. Cow what was that? What was that? That camera angle was whack. I was inside Bax Caliber's belly, but that's hilarious. That is hilarious. So from here, I think I'm just going into a sucker punch, right? And ripping into a gleam. Sucker punch and gleam all day. Sucker punch comes out here. Almost KOs. We almost get it. And Daz and Gleam's gonna fly here. I do sash up, which is huge. So we'll see what they want to do. And the problem here is I think that paralyze might lose me the match. It does lose me the match. The paralyze loses me the match. Cause if you think about it, if I wasn't paralyzed, it'd be game set match. I would legit outspeed Dazzle Dream to pick up the KO onto Flutter Mane at least. If it doesn't KO the back scalper, then I just sucker punch it next turn. But the only way we win this is if Flutter Mane protects thinking we're going for sucker punch and we pick up a KO here. No, it doesn't. It just goes for the first time priority ice shard. And we go 2 1 for today's video with some good RNG and some bad RNG. You gotta love it. What a powerhouse team that we got to showcase today. The Iron Wolf, Iron Valiant came out there in a couple of battles, and I absolutely love them. Haven't used them in a, in a little bit, so it was a good refresher to use them and actually get some wins with it. We had Choice Band Dragapult, who was an absolute champ in today's video, and then you got Fluttermane, Ting Blue, and Shen Pao, who are all part of the meta, always doing their part. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me, and if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one.
Peace out, everybody.